I'm always surprised how many contractors don't size their jobs to get that initial starting point for your equipment. By sizing your job, you're able to get in there, figure out if you're able to meet the standards needs and put the right amount of equipment on the job. When you're not doing it, you're falling short. You might not be able to hit the standard and you haven't been able to talk to the materially interested parties or the property owner and tell them that you're gonna be short on equipment, you're gonna need longer dry time, maybe you have to bring in additional power. Whatever the case is, it's gonna help justify your charges at the end. And that's one of the biggest things that restorers do is they're not sizing their equipment and it puts you at the disadvantage compared to your competitors because you're not drying as fast, you're not drying as, as well as the others, and you're also leaving money on the table.